Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited to be doing this video. I'm doing an updated version of my DIY balayage highlights at home. I actually did this video a couple of years ago. You guys loved it. So I figured I would do an updated version and show you guys how I'm doing this at home now. Today's video is actually going to be in partnership with Wella Hair Color as well as Sally Beauty Supply. So thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. I'm really excited to share with you guys what I used because Wella created a system specifically for balayage highlighting. So the formula works great and in different ways than like a regular bleach would. So over here we have the lightning bleach powder and then over here is the developer. This is a 30 volume developer. Um, and this is a clay based lightning powder. This is something that you can get at Sally Beauty Supply, you guys. I was really excited when they asked me to work with them. Many of you know that I worked at Sally Beauty Supply for I think three or four years. One of my favorite jobs and it was actually the last job that I had before I went YouTube full time. So um, it was a really cool like full circle moment when they reached out to me. So thank you so much Wella and Sally for sponsoring today's video. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about this particular product. Wella is a color line that I'm very, very familiar with. In fact, if you've watched any of my other hair videos, I almost always have mentioned a Wella toner or product just because it's something that I've used for years and absolutely love and adore. So this is an ammonia-free developer, so you don't have that really pungent, strong stench that you normally would with a developer that does have ammonia in it. It was actually pleasantly light when I was applying it. Um, I was in a well-ventilated room, of course, but the smell was not like in your face and it didn't do that thing where like if the color gets close to your eyes it kind of makes your eyes burn like a traditional color does that this didn't do that at all so very easy to mix this is a clay based lightener so it's perfect for balayage you don't even need foils you don't need saran wrap nothing like that you can pretty much just put the product on drop your hair and let it do its thing so I loved that about it it was the easiest easiest product to use on top of that it was very easy to spread and apply with balayage they're kind of you know of course there is a bit of a technique you put it it on in kind of a V shape and then you kind of blend it upwards so you get this really nice fade right here into the rest of your other color and I know that can sound intimidating but really it's nothing more complicated than just taking a brush and kind of doing that over your hair color. It was so simple and so easy to apply. I really feel like any of you guys could do this if you wanted to. The other thing about this is it lightens up to six levels, which is huge. If you're not familiar with the level system, a level 10 is the lightest, a level one is the darkest. So one is black, 10 is pretty, pretty blonde. So um, if you're lightening up to six levels, you can go from like a pretty dark color to a pretty light color in one setting. So that's amazing. For me personally, I didn't want to overall lighten my hair too much. I actually love the um, overall tone of it, but I did want to get some more pieces up here, um, like this one specifically, that just brought some brightness to frame my face. So I wanted to overall bring my highlights up and then just add a few more down here at the bottom so that the gradient was just a little bit more um, seamless and there was just a little bit more lightness here at the bottom than there was previously. The lightener worked great. I got tons and tons of beautiful light pieces, lots of color variation happening here. So I was super thrilled with the way this turned out. I did use one of my favorite toners on top of this because it did lighten pretty light. Like I said, I'm overall wanting to kind of keep my hair at about this color. So the toner that I used today is the T27 toner and this one is a medium beige blonde and I would say that's exactly what I got here. It's kind of that sandy like natural blonde color. It's exactly what I was going for. One of my other all time favorite toners, which this one you guys can go back and look through. I've mentioned in so many videos, especially any videos where I'm talking about blonde hair color. The Wella T18 toner is a godsend. It is my favorite thing for bright blonde hair. It keeps it really cool, really ashy, but it doesn't look gray at all. It's just that perfect like platinum color. Here are kind of the results of today's lightening process. And if you guys want to see how I got my balayage highlights brighter and a little bit more taken up, then just keep watching and I'll walk you through the process. All right, you guys, so here's the before. As you can see, the color is overall a little bit darker and my roots are very grown out. So it is time to take these highlights up. So I'm gonna start with the powder and we're gonna be mixing this to a one to two ratio. We're gonna be using one ounce of the lightning powder with two ounces of the 30 volume balayage developer. So the easiest way for me to do this was just to weigh it out. If you've got a little measuring container or something like that, 
feel free to use whatever you have. Uh, I just wanted it to be really precise. So I'm mixing up one, I'm air quoting, serving <laughs> of the lightener to the developer ratio. And once we get this all in the bowl, we are just going to mix that up. What I've always been told with bleach is that we're looking for a toothpaste-like consistency, so that's exactly what we've got here. As you can see, when I pull it up, it will peak for us a little bit, so it's stiff, but it's not like chunky stiff. So right now I'm just clipping up the top two-thirds of my hair so I can work with the bottom section first. With a little comb, I am just going to be sectioning off a one and a half, maybe two inch thick strip. And then I found this really cool balayage hair painting board that I'm gonna be using today to help me put my color on. This is just gonna give me a lot more control to get that precise V shape. So I've got my little hair painting brush and here we go. I started in the middle section of my hair and then decided I wanted to bring it up even further. I just really was looking for some brightness. So you can take this up as high or as low as you're wanting it to be on your hair. Since this was kind of close to my face, I just really wanted that extra little punch of brightness. So I'm just taking it up and trying to really make sure that I blend the top and then kind of get that little V shape. After I've got the shape of my bleach placed at the top of my hair, I'm gonna just bring that down the rest of the length so we can brighten that on up. So this is actually the process I'm going to repeat for every section that I pull up. Now I'm not gonna pull up every section of hair. I'm actually choosing this quite random. Um, I of course want it to be really, really bright in the front, but I am by no means going a traditional route of highlighting, which would be you take a layer, you pick certain pieces up, you weave the highlights, this and that. I'm just doing this very randomly. So um, right here, you can just see me with another brush. I'm just taking this to blend. Just kind of think of it like you're blending your eyeshadow. You just wanna make sure that you don't have any harsh lines, that the color fade is just really nice on each strand that you do. Since I already have balayage highlights and I really like the pattern and the overall tone of my hair, I'm just really focusing on some of those darker pieces that you're seeing here that we didn't get in the last process. So I'm just going over those darker pieces to brighten them up and then on some of the pieces that are already lightened, I am adding some more bleach to those just so I can get that really nice pop of blonde. And then on some of the pieces too, I'm taking the bleach down the back as well just to make those pieces really, really bright. Now I'm sure you're wondering, okay, Kate, how in the heck am I supposed to do the backside of my head? So I'm gonna show you. The great thing about balayage is it's very forgiving. It does not have to be perfect. In fact, it looks even better when it's not perfect. So I just take a piece from the back and then I just bring it forward basically to where I can see it and just repeat the same process and just throw it on back when I'm done. It's really not that hard. You could also take this up kind of behind your head and hold it up high so you could see what you were doing that way, but pulling it around front worked great for me, so that's what I did here and on all of the other back pieces. My hairstylist always calls this the money piece, so she is a very important little piece of hair here. This is basically where you would part your hair and the one that's always going to be showing up front. So I took this one really super high because I wanted that brightness right next to my face. And we also want to make sure that we blend the top really, really good. So I'm taking another hair color brush and I'm just kind of dragging that upwards and then back down and then kind of doing this feathering motion. Again, just think of it like eyeshadow. It's not that scary. All right, now we are done, we're processing, and here's the deal. You wanna check your hair every 10 minutes to make sure that nothing crazy is happening. I feel like this bleach was really easy on my hair. So here we are, I think 20 minutes into the process. We're already getting some really, really light pieces, and my hair, the integrity of it still feels great. This was at the 30 minute mark. I felt like it was good enough, so we went ahead and washed, toned, and styled. And here is the final result, you guys. I'm so happy with it. The color turned out beautiful. It's this like really pretty sandy, like caramely color, which is perfect for fall. It's exactly what I was hoping for. So that is the final result. And for your viewing pleasure, here is me trying to do that celebrity hairstylist hair shake thing and failing so miserably. 
And that's that. It was easy, easy, easy peasy. I went from a really pretty balayage to a just fresh balayage. You know, like I said, the color was taken up. I got some more bright little popper pieces and I got these pieces up here to really, really frame my face. So I accomplished all of my goals today. So if you guys are wanting to do this at home, I would highly recommend checking out these Wella products. They worked really, really great for me. If I'm ever doing any kind of lightning at home, this is definitely what I'm gonna go to. I love that I didn't have to use foils. That was the biggest thing, especially for doing it at home. Using foils is just not the easiest when you're doing your own hair. The fact that I could just paint it on and then just drop it down was like, Perfect, perfect situation for at home coloring. Definitely check out the Wella Lightning System. It works amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and maybe learned something today. Let me know what you thought of the end result in the comments down below or if you have ever used this or any other Wella products, I'd love to know your feedback. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.